Recent attacks at gunpoint on photographers at a popular San Francisco tourist destination have some professionals saying they won't return to the city. As ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim tells us, some are taking other major precautions and demanding change. Terrifying witness video shows a Dallas-based wedding photographer outside the Palace of Fine Arts last week, fighting off an attempted robbery at gunpoint in front of the bride and groom. I was just yeah, freaked out. The bride was crying all the time. Another photographer's belongings were stolen at gunpoint at the same location on the very same day. This and a number of cases I've covered in the past year highlight the dangers for professional photographers shooting in popular tourist destinations in San Francisco. This video used in the police investigation in March shows a Canadian crew that was robbed of $35,000 in equipment near Twin Peaks. Oh my God. You have a gun. Stay in here. Get down, get down. A number of photographers have since commented on my social media, saying they don't have plans to shoot in the city again. I've heard from uh, um, photographers who say that um, we, we never go on professional shoots without a guard. While there are no statistics available on the number of photographers targeted for their equipment, SFPD confirms they have officers who frequent hotspots for criminal behavior, such as the Palace of Fine Arts. The most recent statistics for that area show a 10.5% drop in robberies in 2021. Jefferson Graham, a photographer and writer who lives in Southern California, travels to the Bay Area often for photo and video shoots. He has written extensively about photographer safety and has even changed his own habits while working in the city. I run all over San Francisco taking pictures on a smartphone and the video is comparable to what I'm getting on my $2,500 Sony and I'm not as attractive to thieves. San Francisco police tell me they're analyzing evidence to positively identify the suspects in the recent Palace of Fine Arts cases. In the meantime, Jefferson and thousands of other photographers have signed a petition lobbying for camera manufacturers to install tracking devices inside gear. Let's hope that there's some changes made because San Francisco is the most photographable city in the United States of America. In San Francisco, Dion Lim, ABC 7 News.